Hello today, people. We're playing a very... You can tell from my screen here. Well, you can't really see that much, but that's what the game actually looks like. And no, we're not playing some Elder Scrolls ripoff, though it did come out a long time ago. Uh, we're playing Kingsfield 4, or it's called... It's actually called Kingsfield. It's the fourth game, but... It's called Kingsfield, the Ancient City. It's a PlayStation 2 game. And, uh, it's very... It's a very slow RPG. I mean, I'm moving in the, in the screen right now as fast as I'll ever be moving. I mean, you swing, it just feels like you're constantly going through, I guess, maple syrup the entire game. It is also a very hard game. Though most most of the enemies, not all of them, can actually be pretty much outwitted just by walking backwards for probably about um, 20 video game feet, I guess. Just keep walking backwards and the enemies will keep coming at you. But then all of a sudden they'll just like give up, turn around, and that's when you move in and hack at them. I do it like countless times in this video. You can pretty much beat most of the just completely random enemies that way. Now it is going to give people Elder Scrolls kind of flashbacks and shit. Because, yeah, obviously it's in first person mode. And, but it does have its own, it does have its own cult following. Which, you know, they, they, they actually released the tools for making your own RPG, console RPG for that matter. Uh, I forget what it's called. The name escapes me at the moment, what the name of the tools are, but I don't think you can find them online anymore, anywhere. For, uh, of course, I'm sure they're probably online somewhere, so... You can make your own RPG for those who uh, like doing that sort of thing. I'm like, I don't know if I'd want to make my own RPG, because I'd make an RPG I'd want to play, but then, then once I finally got done m making it, I'd be sick of it and wouldn't want to even look at the game. Plus, I'd know everything that would happen, so it would be the point. I'm more a person who plays, plays it. Uh, I don't like making it. But uh, at the top there, you got the little C around that big red orb is your uh, mana, I believe. It's been a while since I played this. About five years, actually. You do have a lot, a lot of slots you can put stuff on. Chest, hand, legs, ring, weight, wrist, neck, shortcut. I think that's for uh, casting. Nope, that's magic. I don't know what shortcut it does. I don't think I've ever used it. But it is a very dark game. Like I said at the beginning, if you could barely see it, it's not dark as in, uh, you know, visually dark, but it's also very. The spiders always fucking freak me out because from far away all you can see is their eyes. Back then they freaked me the fuck out and I don't like spiders in real life to begin with so. See, here we go. Yep, turn around. As I said, you can fool most of the enemies that way. Unless you're in a very confined space, which you'll be in the confined space a lot. I actually died in this video because I have no idea where I'm going. Like I said, it's been years since I played it. And I jump into the water and you sink like a fucking rock. <laughs> and you cannot get out of the fucking water. What I'm supposed to do here is find fire and set the spider web on fire so I can go through the door and continue the game to continue on to the ancient city. But I have no idea where that's at, the fire. Even though, for some reason, he has fire all around him. But he doesn't think to use the fire on the damn torches to ignite it. And one of the cool things about this game is there was this uh, community uh, online that made up their own stories and stuff with Kingsfield mythos and stuff like that. And they did a lot of uh, role-playing on forums and making up their own kind of world to go with this game and they the uh, one of the 
game developers actually saw it and uh he mentioned he mentioned it to the other game developers I guess and they decided to include the people's characters from the forums on the game like one of the first people you meet in the game David Butch he's actually a moderator from the forum and a lot of them are actually in the game so as uh, is really neat but it doesn't really change the game that much for me it, it it's very gothic and it's a very depressing game even the music even the music invokes depression it's it's really weird i think they wanted that kind of feel that feel of complete hopelessness i don't know how to get that thing I was going to try to jump and get it, but I'd probably die. Because <laughs> you can't jump in this game. So. <laughs> I just walk off and fall like a fucking rock again. And snap with my legs and spider would come eat me. <laughs> That'd be, uh, yeah, you're the hero of Verdite. Verdite is the name of the place you're in. It's also the name of stones you get. That give you magic or something like that. If I remember right. Uh, that was like a huge player of... Uh, I've never beaten this game, but I beat Kingsfield 2. Which is actually Kingsfield 3, but... Kingsfield 1 is Japan only, and it's a really rare, really rare game, so... You can probably find video of it on YouTube if anybody's that interested in it. But uh, obviously it's an R it's an RPG. I don't really know how big the game world is, but I know Kingsfield 2 US was uh, twice as big as Kingsfield 1. I'm going to assume Kingsfield Ancient City is a lot bigger than Kingsfield 2. I'd say that would be a safe assumption. So like in this video, again, I have no, absolutely no idea where in the fuck I'm going. Uh, I couldn't have been asked to look up a, a guide to find out where in the hell I'm going. Now, there's a really quick way to end your quest, because you start, you start the game right up here, and if you come this way, you walk into that light spot on my left side right there, that cat collapses in and you immediately get incinerated by lava. I know that because I did it on my first first try. <laughs> Now, there's an innkeeper down here who had, who's, yeah, again, he's David Butch or something like that. He's one of the na names of the forum guys who had their fan forum thing going on. You'll never see Capcom doing something like that. No, Capcom just wants to kill all your characters off. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think it's really cool, cool of them to do that, but. This game is really, really, really slow. I forgot how many hours I got into my other saves. So, I think we're we're getting close to the part where I die. For some reason, my sword will not cut through barrels or anything. See, here's David. Oh, David. Yeah, I would like to know how to get into the cemetery, please. Because the cemetery, I believe, is where the magic is at that I need to burn through the cobwebs. And I, again, could not be asked with looking it up. So, <laughs> we'll skip that nonsense and go on. Nope. Yep. No, I'm just... See... I think that's where you actually come through at when you're coming back from getting the coming back from getting the uh, whatever. I tried to slice through because I thought when I first came through here I only had a club that my club wouldn't get through it, but maybe when I got my short sword I could do it. But nope. Yep, we're getting close to where I die right here. Like there's nowhere to go and you can't swim. Like changing color palette to aqua means obviously there's a lot of water down here. 
and it's a drop off on all sides so yep here's where I'm going to die and the video is going to cut out like the reason I couldn't get the beginning of the video was because for some reason the, uh, the FMV that shows the intro to the video is a different resolution and whenever the resolution would change it would fuck up the video so that's why I don't have the beginning but uh, anyways that's this video so uh, thanks for watching